Okay, hi, uh, guys. Uh, we're going to go back on page 82 and 83 for lesson uh, 2.5 because I want you guys to read us uh, the, um, the story before we answer here. So what are we going to learn today? It is uh, literary elements, the settings, the characters, the plot, and uh, the theme. So that's what it is. The objective is the student will be able to identify the setting, the character, the plot, and the theme in a novel. So what is the settings, guys? You know, we have it over here. What is the settings? It's when the story takes place, okay? And uh, the absolutely you know, true diary of a part-time Indian takes mostly uh, place in a small town in Washington, which is uh, in a Rio de High School. You guys remember that? It was in the high school that uh, the story, you know, take place. So what are the characters? The characters are the people and the novel. The words, thoughts, feelings, and actions that help move, you know, the events forward. On the absolute true daily of a part-time Indian is told from the perspective or Arnold spirit, you know, the main character, right? Who goes by the names of Junior or, you know, Army. So it is a teenager growing up in a, in a reservation. So what is the plot? The plot is a sequence of events that make up the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So most plots resolve around a conflict or a problem. So Junior means conflict is seen in an old, you know, old white school. So he's a Native American, you know, going to all wise you know high school so that is the conflict that he has you know um for the problem that he is as a native american trying to fit in all white you know school so what is the theme the theme it is an important message about life that the author wants the readers to understand so and one of the themes, you know, the main themes of this, you know, the readers wants to think that about is how people's surroundings shape their identity. So he doesn't say actually, you know, like a specific, you know, what is the theme. So, but we're going to um, uh, to figure it out, you know, right now we actually know because we already, you know, finished the story. So what is the theme of this? So we are going to do, um, this identify uh, literally, you know, uh, elements. So the settings, the characters, the plot, and the theme. So this one, it is, you know, words, the little, you know, the literally elements. So we're going to put it, you know, here. What is the settings? And it's given to us. What is the characters? What is the plot? And what is the theme? In this case, they give us already you know, the settings that we are then, you know, high school. We are going to this characters. I'm going to give you one, which is really good. You know, easy. Penelope, right? And uh, what would be uh, the plot on this one? Okay. So, Junior attends a form. Junior, okay, attends a formal, okay. So what is the theme? I can tell you that friendship is valuable, right? Friendship is valuable. So now you have example for setting, character, plot, and theme. So we need to uh, fill it up, all of them, with the uh, bank words that we have over here. Let's go to uh, the next page. Okay, so this one we can fill it out. Really, really good. What? Because we are ready with the, um, the story. So part one, it was from page 84 to 87. So when, when this happened, would this story, you know, take place? When it was, guys, it was December. 
and where you see we are done high school okay how does junior feel about going to the winter formal so junior is very worried about going you know because he's afraid of what okay junior is worried okay about going because he is afraid of what guys remember he's afraid of something he is hiding something for you know from his friends what is the plot what happens at the beginning of the chapter So Junior takes Penelope, okay, to the winter formal. Junior takes Penelope to the winter formal, even though what happened, he has no what. Ho, 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 okay. I wanted you guys to finish that. On part two, it was from pages 88 to 99. And when that happened? The same. It was in December. Okay. So where? It happens in the Reardon High School, but it happens again uh, as well at Dennis in the Spokane. So it happens at uh, Reardon high school and then in uh, Dennis in uh, Spokane so how does Junior feel about Roger you guys remember Junior is what jealous about Roger. You guys remember why? Because Roger has money and he thinks that Roger and Penelope will be what? Okay, so I want you guys to tell me that part. Next, what happens in the middle of the chapter? So Junior and Penelope are invited to go and eat pancakes, right? That's why, you know, the settings, it is in, um, in Dennis uh, in Spokane. So, Junior and Penelope are invited to get pancakes. Right? With who? With the popular, you know, kids. And what happened, you know, with Junior that, um, what happened with Junior over there? Okay. He got, you know, to invite to get pancakes with the uh, cool guys, with the very uh, popular kids. But what happened with Junior? Okay. That is what I wanted you to tell me. So in part three, it was 92 and 95, the pages. It was the same, it was at uh, December, and it was where, it was a Dennis in Spokane in the Rio Gun High School parking lot, remember? When they were done, you know, eating at, you know, Dennis. So it was a Dennis in um, Spokane, in a uh, Rio Gun. High school parking lot. Right? So how does Junior relation with John with uh, Roger change? Okay, so Junior and Roger become what? Junior and Roger. become 
what? Okay. You won't write your date to junior after that. Okay. So tell me what Roger did to Junior after he found out that he was what? Okay. So what happens at the end of the chapter? So remember, you know, Penelope confront him, you know, about you know being you know poor. You guys remember? Penelope from you know fronting about being poor, right? And um, so now, then uh, Penelope and Roger know the truth, but they still like him or not. Write it down over here. Finish that part. It is important, guys, because finish the part. So the text meanings of messages, okay? We have three ones, right? Very, very important. And you, this is the thing, you're going to find it over here, okay? On the bank words. So it's going to be really, really easy for you guys to um, to finish with what is the thing, okay? But if you have any questions, please, please let me know, okay? Thank you, guys. Bye. Have a good afternoon.